Hi everybody, welcome to my channel where we talk about whatever I feel like talking about because it is my channel and not yours. I'm, I was doing some more research on Yinomi Park. In addition to watching YouTube videos, I do not just put out information that I see in a video and pretend that I, I know it's true. I do a lot of reading. I delve into these subjects for months and months sometimes, sometimes over a few years. And I think what I want to illustrate the most right here, right now, is that no matter what subject you look up, okay, let's say you're going to try and do your due diligence. You see a video. You're going to Google some articles. In many cases, the first order article you're going to pull up is going to be something debunking the subject that you're looking at. Now, as time goes by, there are less and less articles available to us. You have to dig very, very hard and read a lot of articles, sometimes a lot of books, to find out what the truth is. And that you have to discern in your own heart and soul because there is so much misinformation and disinformation out there that you can believe, if you want to believe anything you read or anything you see, you're going to have an opinion. You could be a strong opinion, but you have to really weigh and balance everything that you see and hear and read among all of the information that's available to you. And my problem with the misinformation campaigns is it's causing so much strife among us. I, I can't post a video with an opinion without being told that I'm an idiot or I'm a fool. And that, I think, is because there are so many articles discounting what is true on the Internet that you just can't figure out what's real. But you have to, at some point, weigh all the evidence and come up with a conclusion of your own. And that's what I try to do. This article here, of course, you have to come to the part here where it says, you'd have to be inhuman not to be moved, but, and you're going to hear a lot of buts, was the story of her life in North Korea accurate? The more speeches and interviews I read, watch, and hear part give, the more I become aware of serious inconsistencies in her story that suggest that it wasn't. Whether this matters is up to the reader to decide, but my concern is if someone with such a high profile twists their story to fit the narrative we have come to expect from North Korean defectors, our, perspe our, to <coughs> our perspective of the country could become dangerously skewed. We have to have, we need to have a full and truthful picture of life in North Korea if we are to help those living under its abysmally cruel regime and those who try to flee. Celebrity defector. See, when the seeds of doubt are planted on any of these subjects, whether it be UFOs or flat earthers or um, medical treatments or Anything at all, anything you see on the internet, pick a subject. There are informational articles, and then there are misinformational articles. And then that leaves the rest of us fighting as usual, because we can't agree on anything. Now, I'm using this as a subject now because I am I'm doing some more research on Yanomi Park. And the reason being... I'm. Right now, there's a lot of concern with the Kraken and all of the internet um, crime. And part of her story concerned North Korea and the internet crime. And she said that um, in her interview that this is one of the most prevalent ways that North Korea makes money. And I'm thinking that along the lines, my research is leading me to look at all countries around the world and exactly who is attacking us through the internet because I've just been fished again. My account was just hit for $49. Well, I mean, that's not a lot, but this is the second time I've been hit in as many months. So I want to know the truth, but I want just wanted to put that out there for everybody. You know, you have to at some point take a stand and believe one way or another, but you really have to do a lot of research and you have to let at some point, let your heart guide you because if you're like me, sometimes you just feel the truth. You know when somebody's lying. You can smell the bullshit. And it, it pains me to see people disagreeing on such 
small, simple things that we can't get together on anything. And that, my friends, I believe is the problem all the way around is that we cannot come together on any one subject because everybody's too busy arguing about everything. And uh, that's what I wanted to say. I mean, we have to stop disagreeing on everything. That's why we can't get anywhere. That's why we can't fight the big, you know, the man, so to speak. That's all I have to say for now.